Yo guys! So the other day, I did something really crazy. I ran macOS on my Chromebook. Now I know a couple of you are probably saying, why the hell Dave would you want to do that? Honestly, I have no idea. I can't even give you a reason other than just because. Now, you can't get macOS to run on your Chromebook like you do with any other x86 operating system. So you know how we ran Windows and Android x86 on the Chromebook by just booting from the USB? Well, of course, you can't do that with macOS. The only way to get it to work is by going through VirtualBox. So imagine this crazy level of emulation that we have going. We have Chrome OS, then Ubuntu, then VirtualBox running Mac OS. And keep in mind, the Chromebook I'm using only has 2GB of RAM, so you're not going to get really, really far on that. But despite that, I would say the performance is at an interesting sweet spot. Now, obviously, it's not fast enough to use as an everyday daily driver, but surprisingly, it's not extremely slow and laggy. Again, it's at a sweet spot where you can do some average things, but not really too much on it. So with that, let's take a look at how to run macOS on a Chromebook. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so first, you need to have a macOS ISO file. Now in order to get VirtualBox working within Ubuntu, we're going to have to reconfigure or recompile the kernel for Chrome OS. Now trust me, this sounds a whole lot more difficult than what it actually is because thankfully someone already ran a script to automate this whole process. So all you need to do is go and open up Terminal. So type in Control plus Alt plus T. Within Terminal, type in Shell. Download the script to change the kernel flags. Finally, execute that script. Now, start up Ubuntu. Within Ubuntu, open up Terminal, make sure you're in your home directory. Now, download another script to set up the headers. Finally, execute that script. Also, now let's go and download VirtualBox. I'm going to download VirtualBox for Ubuntu 14.04. If you haven't installed, choose to open up with the Ubuntu Software Center, just because it'll make installing it a whole lot easier. Within Ubuntu Software Center, hit Install. I already have it installed, but obviously, like I said, just go and hit the Install button. Now let's go and open up VirtualBox. Now, I already have my virtual machine set up, but what you wanna do is go and select new. Give the virtual machine a name. I'm gonna actually call mine Mac 2, because I already have my Mac set up. Now, as far as RAM, you definitely wanna keep it in the green. Anything more than that will cause VirtualBox to crash, so keep it somewhere in the green. Now create a virtual disk image. Notice that the size is 20 gigabytes. If you don't have that much amount of space available on a Chromebook, you can always use a USB flash drive. Just know that your read and write speeds will definitely be slower because they'll be reading and writing to a flash drive. Create a virtual box disk image, dynamically allocated, and again, choose location where you want, where you want to put the image at. Okay, so finally, once you have your virtual machine set up, Go into settings, go into system, and uncheck the last two boxes. Again, make sure your memory is somewhere within the green. As far as processor count, you can keep it to one. And make sure both boxes are checked underneath acceleration. Use the maximum amount of video memory that you have. And for storage, again, Put your virtual disk image somewhere where you have space, whether it be on a Chromebook or a USB flash drive. And finally, go and add an optical drive. And for your optical drive, choose the location of your Mac OS ISO file. And again, that could also be on a flash drive. Now one thing just to note, 
You could set this all up on another computer like your desktop, then transfer it over to your Chromebook. Because VirtualBox is so portable, this does not have to be done on Ubuntu. I did it on my desktop just to save time and space, but like I said, you can do it on either or. Okay, now let's start up the macOS Virtual Machine. Now, if you saw macOS before, this process is pretty self-explanatory. Hit enter to go into the boot screen. It's a little slow, so you're going to be at this boot screen for a couple of minutes, so have a lot of patience with dealing with this setup. And again, you could do this on your computer. Now, go to Disk Utility. Select your virtual disk image. Go to Erase. And create a new partition. And make sure it's formatted as Mac OS Journal Partition. Once you do that, you can go back and select that disk image you just created and install macOS to that. Like I said, again, be patient. This is going to take about 30 minutes to install. I'm doing this through a USB, so it's going to take even longer to do that. Okay, and here we are within macOS. Now, like I said, the performance is at a sort of maybe sweet spot, you could say. It's not necessarily unbearably slow, but definitely nothing that you would use as a daily driver. You could go around and you could like open up the Fox browser, open up Finder, Safari perhaps, and even do some light stuff with it, but don't expect too much out of this. Now, perhaps if you decrease the graphics and animation, you might get better performance out of this. But in any case, here's macOS running on your Chromebook. So guys, there you have it. That is how to run macOS on a Chromebook. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to Twitter and follow me at DaveBben. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. <laughs>